Everyone expresses creativity differently. But what happens when you apply your creativity to something completely new? We brought together two innovators to share in a new experience. So, what's your X? George Lewis Jr. and I'm in a band called Twin Shadow. I'm working on my third record now. There's a million things that are amazing about making music, but more importantly, um, there's just something uh, amazing when you creating something that's not, it's not necessarily tangible. This thing that's really beautiful happens. That's really the only reason. My generation is like the ultimate visual music, musical generation. We, in my memory of music, there is no music without an image. I wanted to be a, an artist, actually. I used to draw a lot, and, and I got into painting a little bit, too. Even in my lyrics, I always try to make lyrics that are very, very thought-provoking and very, very visual. My name is Tim Smith. I am a illustrator. I do graphic novels, covers, uh, design work. Growing up as a kid, my getaway was just coming up with my own stories, putting my life down on a piece of paper. We ain't showing it all, all around to my friends. I'm making some money off of it. I draw ninjas for a dollar, you know, get a little candy money out of it. You know, after a while, it was really cool to, to be the guy known for being an artist. I've heard his music. I saw the video. If he had any influence in that at all, he's got plenty of tools to work with already. So I'm just going to try and pull that out. I'm, I'm super interested in that process because it is that I really wanted to do when I was young, but kind of gave up on. So this is kind of a... Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it my second chance to dance, but... <laughs> Using, um, let's say, four words, two words that best describe his character, what would they be? Lost, rebel. Is he tall? Is he short? He's kind of smaller than the rest, but he's got the en you know, more energy than everyone else. Right, right, right. He's nobody, and then he comes up and shows and proves exactly. and knocks them all down. Exactly. One of those guys. Yeah. Okay. Good, good, good. I like, I like those guys. And I'll, I'll break it down to just the body. Pretty good, pretty good. Think of it like putting some clay on top of a wireframe skeleton you just created. What, what type of clothes do they wear? Actually like, like black rockabilly. Perfect. Tattoos on the chest or? Or maybe like an emblem, like a, like a seal. Mm, is, it, is he that uh, hardcore? No, it's class, yeah. Clay's classier. His friends are maybe a little more rough, <laughs> okay. rough than him. All right, now let's go into the face. Eyes will be here, two dots. Let's do angry. Angry, all right. I hate an erasing thing. Yeah, erasing. If you can draw it over and over again, that's like the best way to understand your character by going over and over. Right. All right, let's add some color. Pick a light source. Let's say the light source is coming in this direction. Right. So. Shadows on, on the other side. Yeah, shadows on the other side. And then we have that. Perfect. We're good, 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 <laughs> good stuff. Music's a strange thing. It's not as much like, let me get what I have in my head out here. It's more like, let me play around out here and then it goes back into you and kind of. It's kind of reversed in a way for me. While I'm sitting there drawing this stuff, I got my headphones on listening to music. That pushes me on. So listening to what he does influences what I do to pull that energy and pull that knowledge of all those years of studying out of me onto the paper.